Hi, my name's Tom. I'm a fine art graduate and I'm now part of the recruitment team here at Norwich University of the Arts. This is our presentation titled Why Creative, which looks at the value of the creative industries and the variety of the types of jobs you can go on to with your creativity. This guy might seem a little bit crude, but he's there to make the point that creatives affect every single part of your life. From what you wear, to the stories that you're interested in, the games you like to play, the social media you engage with, to even the building that you're sat in. Every single part of your life is affected by creatives. Basically, without creatives, you'd be standing naked, alone, possibly in a field. In 2019, the UK's creative industries were worth £111.7 billion to the UK. And that's growing at over twice the rate of the wider economy. That makes £11.5 million an hour. Over 3 million people work in the UK's creative sector. That's one in 11 jobs. So how do you get in the creative industries? Well, there's a number of ways that you might want to access it. And one of them is by going to university. University courses typically take three or four years of study. And they're what you do after studying maybe at sixth form or going to college and studying a level three course. We offer 19 different creative subjects at Norwich University of the Arts. They, these include acting, animation, animation and visual effects, film and moving image production, fine art, games art and design, photography and games development. That's part of our art and media faculty or department. Our architecture and design faculty or department includes architecture, design for publishing, fashion, fashion communication and promotion, fashion marketing and business, that's a lot of fashion courses, graphic communication, graphic design, illustration, interior design, textile design, and user experience design. Once again, these are three or four year courses of study, and you can find out far more information about the course structure, what they get up to, and more importantly, the type of work that they make at www.nua.ac.uk. So maybe you're thinking, that's great, but what are the jobs that you can do after studying a creative degree? Well, actually, there's so many different jobs you could go into with your creativity. On the screen now, I have a list of those typical careers that our students might go into following graduation from our subjects in our art and media faculty. So on the screen there, you can see acting, animation, animation and visual effects, film and moving image production, fine art, games art and design, games development, and photography, typical careers. Now, this doesn't spell it out very clearly, but I'm gonna give you a few examples. So you might have an awareness of what an artist does, but you've probably never heard of what an art handler is. An art handler is typically the type of person that might help to prepare, to pack, and to transport, as well as install artifacts for museums and galleries. So they work alongside curators and artists to put up and display the work. A roto artist is basically someone that works in the visual effects industry. This is someone that takes maybe a, a piece of film footage and cuts around the edge of each individual frame, maybe an object or a person that's in that sequence. And then what they'll do is they'll copy and paste that on the top of another film sequence. This is known as rotoscoping. A best boy or girl is ultimately responsible for managing a film production crew. So they'll be looking at hiring in staff and equipment, they'll do scheduling, and they'll be looking at things like the health and safety management of the film production. And this is our list of careers from our architecture and design faculty. So this includes those courses such as architecture, fashion, fashion communication and promotion, fashion marketing and business art, graphics courses, illustration, interior design, textile design, and user experience design. Something that I think is really interesting about all of these typical jobs and career paths is that they involve other skills, not just creative skills. So things like your interest in English, mathematics, your interest in psychology, your interest in, in languages or even geography actually tie in with a lot of our subject areas. And here's some of the typical careers you might want to go into. If you're interested in things like mathematics, psychology, but also design, you might be interested in being a user experience designer. So the types of things they do is they analyze different types of products and services to make them more user friendly. They'll look at how people think, how people make decisions, and then they'll tweak the designs to make them more user friendly. If you're interested in subjects like fashion, textiles, maybe even history, you might be interested in being a trend forecaster. Now, a trend forecaster is responsible for predicting things like the silhouettes, graphics, 
the colours and textures and fabrics that are going to be on trend for the next fashion season. If you're interested in things like installation based work and problem solving, you might be interested in being a space planner. Now a space planner gets given a specific site that they need to research and then come up with a series of creative solutions to help a client reimagine that space and how it can be used to its full potential. At a university like ours, it's not just about developing your creative making skills. We're also looking at developing your professionalism. So we'll give you a, a series of different opportunities to be able to develop those types of skills that employers are looking for, such as your resilience, your ability to meet deadlines and to deliver a brief, your ability to be flexible and adaptable, your ability to show an attention to detail, to communicate well with colleagues and partners, to respond well to feedback, to be able to work in a team, to be able to handle customers and clients professionally, to demonstrate a positive attitude in all situations, and to be able to interpret a brief in a unique and distinctive way. This slide is a small snapshot of the different types of industries that our graduates have gone on to work for, and also those that collaborate with us at the university year after year. Is that something that's of interest to you? And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. To find out more, please have a look at our website. That's www.nua.ac.uk. You can follow us on hashtag WeAreNUA to see what's going on in our student community. And also you can contact us at student.recruitment at nua.ac.uk. Thank you once again. And your creativity matters.